my parents, like many immigrant parents, insisted that I do well in school. Um, that was the only thing they really cared about, was to bring home the A's, then to go off to college and graduate at the top of my class. That was their mission for me. So whenever I expressed any kind of creative impulse, if it didn't feed into a grade that I could bring home on a report card, uh, they didn't really understand it at all. I didn't get to a place where I was comfortable with interacting um, with creative folk and expressing myself creatively until I graduated from college. I was fortunate enough to win a Rhodes Scholarship and I went to Oxford. And the thing that for me was incredible about going to Oxford was that a number of my classmates were fluent in uh, art. You know, they, I remember one of my, the first conversations we had on the bus from London to Oxford was about Philip Roth. I'm ashamed to say that I hadn't read anything by Philip Roth. And then they started talking about the Picasso exhibit at the Tate, and I didn't know what they were talking about. And part of the reason I didn't was because I'd focused so hard on doing well academically. And so for me, this kind of entrance into Oxford was also an entrance into a part of myself that I'd closed off for many years. And so if I'm talking to a younger writer, I would say um, that if you have that impulse, that this desire to write or read or to watch film or listen and or compose music, then indulge that because there's something that's valuable in that. If there's something within you that says that this is a way I want to express myself, my sense is that you should honor that. And it's going to be an incredibly interesting journey, but I think it'll be a fulfilling journey uh, as well.